pupping season has arrived at Marin's Marine Mammal Center, and that means a full house, prime time for the volunteers and scientists who make this way station home for hundreds of seals and sea lions each spring. On this day, 95 young seals, mostly elephant seal pups, are being cared for. A yearly surge triggered when pups are abruptly weaned by their moms and have to fend for themselves. One month, that mother sits on the beach with them and won't go out to the ocean and forage on her own, and she loses a bunch of weight and is constantly caring for that pup. And then after about 30 days, she will leave. So she, um, it's called a hard wean, where she nurses one day and then the next day she, she'll take off. Although pups can reach 300 pounds in that month, storms and other factors can cause that weight to be quickly lost. That's when the center and its team of dedicated volunteers spring into action. In the Mammal Center's kitchen, volunteers prepare and fill feeders with ground fish. Surprisingly, elephant seal pups aren't born knowing how to catch a meal or to swim. So the process begins with tube feeding, a critical step to add weight and strength. Then comes training, and since seal pups can quickly bond with human staff, wooden boards are used to create a separation, while volunteers teach basic skills like learning what food looks like. Only later do young seals graduate to the final step, fending for themselves in a deeper tank, the prelude to release. Once they've figured out how to eat, then they're, they're set and they're on their own and they take off into that deep ocean where they should be and dive and forage and do really well. Following unusual warm ocean waters in 2014 and 2015, when the center treated more than twice its average of six to 800 patients, temperatures along the California coast have returned to near normal. Good news for marine mammals along the 600-mile stretch of coast that the center staff oversees. The California current ecosystem is unbelievable, and our coastline and the ability for that ecosystem to produce enough food to support such the diversity and abundance of wildlife that's out there is, is super impressive. Ryan Berger heads the center's Northern Range Rescue and Response Team, making sure volunteers have the tools and knowledge they need. He says the public's eyes and ears are critical, but the center's Leave Seals Be program urges people to keep their distance. With the incredible coastline that we have, we want to encourage people to go out, and they're really, the public is the ears and the eyes of, of our whole response network. But there are respectful ways in which to interact with these animals. The key point, if an animal seems to be in trouble, don't approach or touch it, but instead take a picture, note its condition, and call the response hotline. The Mammal Center actively monitors calls and rescues underway all along the coast. This dispatch board is updated daily. As the world's largest marine mammal rescue and rehab center, staff here work with organizations worldwide, sharing what they know while also monitoring changes in ocean and climate conditions, changes that could bring an influx of patients. We pride ourselves in making sure that we don't turn any animal away. So any animal that needs us, we want to be here for them. So we always, always monitor for those things and try and be prepared for any environmental issues that could cause a massive surge of patients and influx more than our average. Staff here will tell you that volunteers, hundreds of them, make this place hum. Their thousands of yearly hours of work, their dedication, a real measure of success for a renowned treatment center that continues to teach the world how to care for ocean mammals. In Sausalito, Carl Van Amberg for News of the North Bay.